Another practice forced indoors due to weather. The Saints working on the two minute drill today. Boston Scott is used to the Louisiana weather. The Baton Rouge native now trying to latch on with the state's team. Andrew Doak brings us his story from Metairie. That's what I'm talking about. Former Louisiana Tech running back Boston Scott has always had to prove people wrong. The Zachary High School product has always been too small, never been talented enough, but now he's on the doorstep of making an NFL franchise, and Scott is willing to do whatever it takes. However I can, special teams, offense, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm going anywhere and everywhere that Coach Payton needs me. I'm looking to contribute in any way possible. Scott's road to the NFL has gotten even tougher, though, in recent months. With the suspension of Mark Ingram, the Saints called in backup. New Orleans added veteran running backs Terrence West and Shane Vereen as insurance policies in case they don't have enough. But Scott sees that as nothing more than motivation, rather than a step towards the exit sign. I get excited, you know, because it's competition. You know, I, I have another opportunity to show, you know, the, and these guys that they're bringing in aren't just scrubs. These guys that are drafted in the second, third round. So it's another opportunity to show them that, you know, I was drafted in the sixth round, but, you know, I believe I have a little more value than that. So I'm out here to show them that. It's easy to look at Scott and based purely on his size, compare him to another Saints great, Darren Sproles. But those comparisons are obviously a bit premature. But the Saints do have a knack for using players of his stature extremely effectively. It's very humbling. You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool to be compared to someone that's had the productivity and the reputation like Darren Sproles. But also, you know, like I say every time, you know, Darren Sproles is the player that he is. I look to implement some things from his game to my game, but I'm, I'm here to be Boston Scott. Here are some of the plays of the day in practice nine of Saints training camp. The Saints worked for a significant amount of time on two minute drill this morning and on their second red zone play, Breeze was robbed by Marcus Williams, who's looking to build on a phenomenal rookie campaign. But just one play later, Breeze fires back with an answer to Ted Ginn Jr. near the pylon, number nine, showing he still got it. And then check out this grab from Tommy Lee Lewis. It came in the third period of 11 on 11 drills. And if you keep making enough catches like that, you'll find yourself a roster spot once again. In Metairie, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports. All right, good stuff, Andrew. Thank you very much. The Saints will have an evening practice on Sunday at Tulane's Yulman Stadium. The practice will be open to the public. First come, first served. The Saints will head back to Metairie for a morning session on Monday before taking Tuesday off. Then they'll hit the road and head to Jacksonville on Wednesday. Their first preseason game against the Jags comes your way Thursday night.